on double duty today. <laughs> Glad to see all of you here. You uh, made it through the spring forward, right? And you're here. You feel a little, little tired. I know I do. It's like losing that, that hour of sleep makes a big difference sometimes. We are talking about patience. And as Allie said last week and this week, who's good at it? I know I'm not. So the Israelites in our Bible, in the Hebrew Bible, had the same problem. They could not wait to get to the promised land. Even though they were promised a beautiful land that would be theirs, they had a lot of trouble. They whined. Parents, do your kids ever whine? No, never? I doubt that. <laughs> they ever say, are we there yet? Yep. Do they ever say, when? Or I want it now. My son Xavier, y'all see him a lot, he clings to me when he's here. His favorite thing is, now. I want it now. You hear that? Absolutely. So I, I confess that sometimes I'm the same way. I want it now. I don't want to wait. And sometimes that means that if I want something now and I get it, now my weakness is handbags and shoes. Hey, April knows this. We talk about handbags and shoes in the office all the time. So if I want something now and I get that handbag, then maybe later on I'll see a nicer one that maybe costs a little more money that I think, well, if I would have waited, maybe I could have afforded that, right? So we all have things that we really want, and sometimes when we act too soon, we don't get something better. So we're going to take a look at what happened in the book of Exodus in our Bible and what the Israelites did when they ran out of patience. Let's take a look. After God brought the Israelites out of Egypt, God invited Moses to join him on top of a nearby mountain so they could talk. So Moses left and went to talk to God. The Israelites waited and waited until they felt like they had waited long enough. They found Moses' brother Aaron and said they were tired of waiting for Moses and they were tired of waiting for God. They told Aaron to make them new gods. So Aaron asked them to take off their gold jewelry and give it to him. Aaron melted down the gold and made a golden idol that looked like a calf. Aaron presented the idol to the Israelites and told them to worship it instead of God. The Israelites offered their sacrifices to their new gods because they were tired of waiting for Moses and they were tired of waiting for God. Meanwhile, up on the mountain, the Lord was giving instructions on how to live, but he knew what was happening down below. God told Moses, Go down to the Israelites. They have forgotten that I brought them out of Egypt. They are worshiping an idol made in the shape of a calf. The Lord was angry and wanted to punish the Israelites, but Moses stood up for them. Please, don't be angry. They are making a bad choice. Let me talk to them. So the Lord sent Moses down the mountain with all of the instructions they had talked about written on two stone tablets. When Moses saw them worshiping the idol, he was so angry he threw down the stone tablets and found his brother Aaron. Aaron, why did you make this idol for these people to worship? Aaron told him that they were tired of waiting for Moses and they were tired of waiting for God, so they made their own gods. Moses took the calf idol that Aaron had made and melted it in a fire. Then he reminded the Israelites. It wasn't a calf that brought you out of Egypt, it was God. He is the only one that deserves your worship. Moses went back to the mountaintop to ask God to forgive them for their foolish worship. Yikes. So let's recap a little bit. Moses was talking to God for a long time. And what happened to the Israelites? How were they feeling? Impatient. And you ever wait for someone to come to your house and they say I'll be there in 20 minutes and then you go to the window and you wait and it feels like it's an hour sometimes it is because people run late but 
One of the phrases I remember hearing as a little girl was, a watch pot never boils, right? What does that mean? It takes the same amount of time whether you're standing there or not, but it might feel longer when you're watching for it. So the Israelites were really tired of waiting. So what did they do? They stopped waiting by doing what? They made an idol. The very thing that God told them not to do, they did. So they made an idol of gold, and they worshipped it. And then, how did that make God feel? Mad. And Moses was so angry, he smashed up the tablets. And things were not good, right? So when we are getting tired of waiting for something or someone, pray for patience instead of reaching for something that may not be good for our souls or spirits or worth our time, right? Let's pray. God, we give you thanks that you give us perseverance and strength to be patient when it's really hard. So the Israelites did what you told them not to, and we are also guilty of that. We tend to grab things before we might be ready for them. But God, grant us patience that when we wait for things to come that we know they will be better than we could ever imagine. Thank you for the gifts that you give to us and for loving and forgiving us even when we are not good at it. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen.